Hello guys, we're just uh, going to give you a little, few pointers on uh, using the uh, Thrustmaster uh, idle tensioner. Just a few pointers on how to hook it up and what you need to tighten and a couple other things about it. And I'll let you look at it. We can show you a few things. Okay. Get this camera set. Sorry about all the shaking, but let's see here. I'm gonna try to do this with one hand, so so don't look like that'll work. Let's get it back there. Okay. I guess that's good enough. Okay, what we have here. Turn this forward, hold on. Alright. Is dial tensioner uh, sprocket. Okay, we're gonna show you a few things here. Uh, what we got is um, a large step right here. The opposite size has no step, so that allows for adjustment with moving the idle tensioner in and out. If it's not lined up properly, you can flip it over, move it a little closer to the outer arm, or you can flip it over and get a little more room with the, so about a quarter inch, a little less there, with the step. Also here we have a uh, aluminum washer, it's a quarter inch thick. Usually you would need that to go on there and put it together. That's going to give you a lot of adjustments when you go to turn this around different ways to line up your gear with your chain. So once you get it all lined up also you can use the lock washer on in there. When that tightens up that'll give you about another 330 seconds and they have another washer also. If you want to use that you can get a little more on there. So a lot of, lot of ways to move this idle tensioner in and out. You're going to have plenty screw here uh, to if you have to buy more washers to move it out. I don't think you will. It's most ever buy this little setup is sufficient. And that's what we got there. So, you know, put the washer on there this is the usually the way it works either this step or this side here is usually sufficient to um, to adjust it and you can move it somewhat on the frame a little bit in and out but you don't want to have it angled at an angle for instance like that you want it nice and level when you bolt it up the uh, tensioner with your bolts you want to snug the top one that has the bushing. So you want the tensioner to allow a lot of play so it don't bind up. Use the bottom bolt to tighten the tensioner to the frame good and tight. This really don't have to be that very tight because the way this tensioner is most of the pressure is on the spring that goes up to the top uh, rear drop tube and not on the lower as most other tensioners have a lot of pressure on that lower drop tube and which causes them to twist over. With the spring set up here where you install the spring let me get a spring for you Okay, with the spring set up here, you're going to hook your spring in, and that goes up to the upper drop tube, and you have a, a, a nice bracket right here, rubber bracket that will allow you to put it on your frame, won't scratch the frame up or anything, and that goes on the upper tube for the rear drop. and. Uh, 
you can tighten this up fairly good snug it up all the way as far as that and keep just you know maybe allow a little bit of slack for the spring to turn in there a little bit because it may move somewhat now they do have a long spring here this spring is pretty long so you may have to cut that uh, have to allow for a lot of different bikes and I don't think there'll be any that it'll be too short for but you may be too long and it may be just right because a lot of bikes it just goes right on there and that's pretty much basically it if you go to tighten this up these are self-locking nuts on here so if you go to tighten this up and you see this is turning you might want to grab it right on the head here with some lock pliers as you tighten it up once it gets pretty snug it'll go on on tight so everything has lock nuts and it's going to lock down fine and i think you're going to be happy with this idle tensioner because there's a lot went into the design it looks looks very simple but there's a lot to it and no welding or nothing on your frame everything just bolts up and i can guarantee you that you'll be happy with this because I put it on a lot of bikes and it's made a world of difference with the way the uh, motor and the chain run. It's much smoother on the transmission and I'm pretty proud of this little deal. So alrighty, that's all I got to say about it and if you need any more help you can email me at support at thrustmastermotorbike.com. Thank you.